All right, Vince. Very good. Well, how about this? A Catholic order commissioned an audit of itself. Well, that audit has some results that are pretty startling. It identified 46 friars with reports of alleged sexual abuse of minors. Our Beverly Taylor takes a closer look at the audit and its impact. In early 2012, the Capuchin Franciscan province of St. Joseph commissioned an audit of itself. This Midwest Catholic province includes Wisconsin. The auditors reviewed personnel files held by the province, as well as the manner in which the province responded to incidents and reports of inappropriate sexual behavior and sexual abuse in the past. Well, it has a lot of personal significance. Peter Isley, a spokesman for the group Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests or SNAP, reviewed the findings of the audit on the day of its release, Tuesday. I was sexually assaulted by a Capuchin priest when I was 13 and 14 at their high school boarding school seminary, which they still operate, St. Lawrence Seminary. The audit found that when a friar was implicated in sexual abuse, the prevailing concern was to protect his priestly or religious ministry not to get to the truth or care for the victim. Uh, that's a really important part of why this is significant because it really validates what victims went through not only as they were being assaulted but the cover up and then how they were, were treated. The auditors identified 46 current, former or deceased members with reports of alleged sexual abuse of minors. Of those, half have confirmed reports of sexual abuse. The other half, unconfirmed. It also says when a friar's sexual misconduct was referenced, it was often recorded in such an elusive and opaque manner that it was difficult to discern the true nature of the matter being addressed. It looks like significant evidence has been destroyed over recent years by Capuchin authorities. That has to be investigated. Uh, these auditors are not done. Even so, Isley says for the province to voluntarily commission the audit is a good step. Isley also says since some evidence is missing, victims and people with information about abuse should contact the auditors or police with their information. We contacted the Milwaukee Archdiocese for comment about the audit. It had not come by news time. Beverly Taylor reporting live in the newsroom. All right, Bev, thank you.